Okay, so let's look at this. The antenna funnels, that's the keyword here, funnels energy to the reaction center. What, what do you understand by the word funnel? From big to small. What about the direction of it? One way, both way, side way, multi way, one way. Okay, so two concepts of funnels here, meaning that from big to small and unidirectional. Nobody that has reached one end go back backward. No, it's not happening. Okay, so for each antenna system, I learn you will have in essence this setup of pigment molecule. Okay, I'm still not referring to either photosystem one or photosystem two, but both of them kind of like this. But for simplicity, most book will say that this is the setup general setup for photosystem two. Okay, remember this photosystem one, photosystem two biochemically. Photosystem 2 happened first, then only Photosystem 1. The reason that it's not named that way, I don't know why scientists didn't correct this. Photosystem 1 happened to be found first. Then later on, they found out, oh, by the way, uh, energy come from this guy first. Yeah. So, Photosystem 2, just written, it's number 2, but sequence, it is number 1. All right. Okay. So, you got your light. Light, the energy is high. Okay will be accepted by molecules of pigments. This is called collectively as antenna complex, meaning that in this complex, not only one pigment or one color. There are various color. There are chlorophyll, there are, there are carotenoid, xanthophyll, biolazanthine, and so on, depending on plant species. But in essence, all plant species have this thing, carotenoids and chlorophyll A, B. So this will keep on passing the energy. Maybe the carotenoids, if you remember from your note here, the first week note, where's the, that note? From the first week note, I think figure 9.7, you can see that for the carotenoid or beta carotene, the peak absorption happens around 470 nanometer. Okay, meaning that 407 nanometer, 470 nanometer absorbed by the carotenoids. However, this is not the energy that can excite or activate the reaction center because the reaction center requires 618 nanometer. So 470 here will be passed to the second molecule. Now it becomes 500 and it, it passed to the second molecule over and over and over again until the energy becoming lower enough to hit 680 nanometer. Only this energy will activate the reaction center. For, for, so what exactly is reaction center? Reaction center is actually a special chlorophyll A molecule with, with a loosely bound electron, meaning that the electron can be ejected out if it gets excited. It's kind of like, remember, uh, I give the analogy of uh, excitation like uh, you and your friend laughing together. Yeah, you keep tickling on your friend. She's laughing, right? She's laughing. So she's in excited state. Yeah, your other friend is also laughing. But none of them laughing and anything coming out from their body. So they are all these antenna complex, but this one friend, this one friend that's about to go and snitch to the teacher that you guys are laughing nonstop. She's the one with the denture. Get excited and the, the denture come out. And that come out is kind of like electron get ejected out of this. Go to where? Go to the teacher and tell the snitch on you. You, you have been uh, creating lots of noises in the class. Okay, right. So, Another thing that you need to understand in physiology about this asterisk or star. The moment you see a substance or molecule followed by a star like this, meaning that it has 
being excited. Excited carotenoid, chlorophyll B, uh, excited, chlorophyll A excited. The one without the star, we call it ground state carotenoid, ground state chlorophyll, ground state reaction center. Excited state reaction center, the moment it has star in it. Okay? So keep on passing and then activate or excite the P680. Okay? Yeah. So, oh yeah, it's mentioned here. For the excitation to be transferred back to the chlorophyll B, it is just not possible. Yeah. Because this energy here is already low. Low energy cannot go back up to go against the energy gradient. That's why it's called funneling, meaning that P680 cannot transfer back to the carotenoid. This is carotenoid, it requires higher energy to excite it. Otherwise, it's not going to accept. Okay? It's kind of like tomorrow, you tell the same joke again. Your other friend, one of your two friends, not going to laugh in there. I already know this. New joke, please. Not easy to excite. You, you need the, the right switch to tickle and